Good evening and welcome to our coverage of the Indian Plastics Institute's IPI Day celebration here at Tunga International in Mumbai. Tonight we are here to celebrate and recognize the incredible contribution of the members of the Indian Plastics Institute to the plastics industry in India. We'll be speaking with some of the award winners, asking them about their experience in the industry, the challenges they have faced and the legacy they hope to leave behind. It is a kind of a recognition which a person who has contributed for the growth of the industry or the institute, right? they are being recognized. And I think it was a nice thing that uh, IPI has does it today. The reason that the IPI was started is to bring all the plastic professionals on one platform and to give an opportunity to interact themselves and to contribute to the growth of the profession itself. Right? I being the founder of the Indian Plastic Institute, I am really very glad that IPI has gone to all, this, uh, all these years and contributed to the great lens to the development of the plastic industry in India. Well, as a recipient of many, many awards in the past, this award is giving me a little special kick. Now that I have reached the age plus 75, there is little we can do in terms of day-to-day -day life. A stage comes where you like to be away from the industry, but be part of the industry. So this means two things to me. One is, how could I give my legacy to the future generation? We as an educationist and learned people are thinking in terms of imparting that desired level of education and thinking power to the future. Many students got benefit of entrepreneurship. They started their small business and this education that helped them. Many people come and tell me, sir, thank you. I have started a small business because of this only. Lifetime Achievement Award normally is considered as the end of the session. For me, it is not so. I am still a president of this association. It is, uh, might be a coincidence that I got the Lifetime Achievement Award during my tenure. So that is a great thing for me. Other part is, I am still adjunct professor in university. And I still continued even after superannuation. So for most of my students who become friends now, that's a, a type of what you call example for them to reach such, you know, levels. So, Indian Plastic Institute faculties, they go out and also deliver the lectures and all these things. These are the our pillars who can really contribute to the growth of the plastic industry. So, any kind of other commercial organizations will not be able to contribute so much to the plastic industry than the IPM. So this was nothing else but the just a sort of uh, entertainment we wanted to have, which will give boost to generation, new generation, to take more interest in the idea. We do a lot of student activities. We take them to factories, we take them to industrial areas, we take them to processes. We also arrange uh, expert lectures from the industry. Indian Plastic Institute is a big institute where technicalities and uh, know-how will be more important. And there are a lot of uh, people who are involved in the Plastic Institute, uh, very knowledgeable people, and they also have a uh, uh, the best uh, experienced people gives support to the young entrepreneurs 
and uh, technical support to the young entrepreneurs or technical issues to the industry. And this was a very uh, good institute where I am associated with this institute in the last 40, 45 years. I'm thankful to this institute for giving the opportunity to be a part of this institute. The Indian Plastic Institute has grown considerably from what I have seen earlier and especially in uh, there are now something like uh, 23 chapters spread all over India and main thing is the students are involved and so they are learning a lot about plastics. Now plastic and environment is a very important subject and there is a misconception that plastic is bad for environment. Actually, it is good for environment. If you compare plastic with other materials, its energy consumption is low, its production is high, and, you, and it is cost effective. And so you cannot remove plastic out of your life. You probably heard I just wrote a book on specialty thermoplastic, which are the plastics which are used at a temperature above 150 degrees or 200 degrees C. It's a very special subject. Nobody has written on this uh, uh, in the world. So this was a very nice, that's how the very big publisher in Germany agreed to publish it. That would be a decent, I think, uh, legacy.